our very first game of the week of the season, we go out to Northcutt Field where Sylvie Sparks is standing by to recap Wicksburg visiting Houston Academy. Game of the Week, sponsored by EMG Care. Half of this game was all Raiders. First, the defense shows its dominance, putting multiple stops to Wicksburg senior running back Jalen Murray. Opening drive for the Raiders and standout sophomore quarterback Caden Mitchell calls his own number, picking up major yardage until he's eventually pushed out of bounds in the red zone. After a fumbled snap, he recovers on his own. It's third and goal from the 10, and Mitchell shoots it over the middle to find Will Wells in the end zone. The Raiders are on the board first, seven and nothing, and they're staying calm, cool, and collected for this first TD celebration of the season. First play of the Raiders' second drive, Mitchell rolls out to his right, sends it deep to Wells, who's there. He'll escape one Panther, and with the help of some of his teammates, shakes him more to get in the end zone for his second TD of the night. Make it 14 to nothing, Raiders, and they're going to be excited about this one. And here's Mitchell and Wells showing each other some love after two back-to-back -back scores. Second quarter now. Now, H.A. in scoring position again. John Daughtry on the carry, but he fumbles it on the one-yard line. Panthers come up with the ball. Raiders now trying for a safety, but Wicksburg QB Gabe Glover connects with Aiden Rice for a major pickup for the Panthers. Glover puts this one deep up and over the middle to find Tyler Williams, make it first and 10 from the 20. But the Panthers' prowl doesn't last. Glover scrambles, calls his own number, eventually fumbles, and it's recovered by none other than the Raiders' Wells. We head into half. Houston Academy up 14 to nothing. And the second half of this game was not much different at all. The Raiders come away with a dominant 28 to nothing win over Wicksburg. Now Wicksburg just moved down to 2A from 3A. So last year this would have been a region matchup, but it's not anymore this year. HA, of course, coming off of a winning season last year, making their first playoff appearance since 2018 under then first year head coach Eddie Brundage. Now he's in his second year. At the end of last season, a lot of people are wondering, are they going to be able to build off of that momentum this year? Is this the start of a a lot of success for Houston Academy. I think tonight made it clear they are certainly capable of that potential and they have a lot of energy, especially under the young leadership of quarterback Caden Mitchell. Next week, HA is going to kick off region play at home hosting Daleville and Wicksburg is going to host 5A Rehoboth. That's it for our first game of the week of the season. I'm Sylvie Sparks at Northcutt Field. Back to you guys in the studio.